Hey, 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 morning coffee with Paul. I am so excited about this subject. First of all, I want to say thanks for all that tuned in yesterday for my I Have Something to Say, to say show. It was amazing. Hey, Dennis. Hey, JD. Uh, Alex was amazing. Um, the way she has persevered just gave me reason to get up every day and continue. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Mike. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Bo. <laughs> How you doing? Coffee. Mm. So the subject is don't you ever quit. Don't you ever quit. When I was diagnosed with aphasia 26 months ago, I didn't even know what that was. And I am dedicated to bringing more awareness to aphasia. Hey, Indiana, how's it going? Australia in the house. <laughs> hey, Virginia. But I had to start completely over. What do I mean by that? I had to realize I had to stand up and walk again verbally. But before I could stand up and walk again, I had to crawl step by step. I couldn't even form my words at, at all. I had to reposition my mouth to form the words. And I had to do it over and over again. And I can tell you, it was very fascinating <laughs> for me to go through because I had been talking all my life. And I was dedicated to getting back, getting back. Some days... I would practice and practice and practice and practice. And I would go to bed and wake up. And unlike before, what I had learned was jumble, motor apraxia. So I had to start over. But the one thing I want you to take away from this. Struggle, struggle is success next door neighbor. When you struggle and you be doing your best and you try and try again and you get knocked down and you get back up again, Struggle and struggle and struggle. Hey, Bill. Hey, Jake. How you doing? And you get not to the canvas. And you pull yourself back up and say, dust myself off. I am going to try again to talk. And you struggle and you struggle and you struggle. I can tell you that's when you're knocking on the door of success. You're just this close. You have to finish what you start. Hey, Nathaniel, how you doing? Great to see you watching. Hey, Fred. So anything that you struggle with, anything that knocks you down, Anything that resembles a stopping stone can easily be turned over into a stepping stone if you're committed. Hey, David Long. Hey, Lynette. But 
when I started learning to talk. If you can imagine this, I couldn't even say any of my kids' names. I couldn't say Jane Ellen or Lauren or Chris or Ryan or Kobe. I would just point. That's where I started. So I had to relearn to talk from scratch. It is not about me. It is about the willpower, the willingness to do whatever it takes through struggle to find your way to success. I climbed many mountains saying words that I couldn't say. And I just remembered that it will come. If you do the work, it will come. Hey, Brad, man, Brad LeMay, you know, I'm so proud of you every day. So hats off to you. Hey, Brooke, what's going on, Brooke? Brooke, ah, Brooke Allen. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mispronounced your name, Brooke Allen. <laughs> he, I, I'm telling you, when I started, I had to believe recovery is possible. And Brooks said it best. I had to believe that because I had so much work to do. People will tell you throughout your life, is it really worth it? Yes, it is. Is it really worth the pain that you go through? Yes, it is. Hey, Brandy, is it really worth the setbacks you go through? Yes, it is. Because, yes, you can. Hey, Stephanie, you have to have optimism and passion, and commitment, and discipline, and belief, and faith that you're going to get to the end re result, the outcome that you really desire, and do the work. Man, Mike Burdett, my best friend in the world, he, we hang out all the time. Mike, Hats off to you. I love you, buddy. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Manny, my son-in-law. <laughs> Listen, I want you to know that when you get knocked down, and you, when you don't see in any way out, and you don't have faith, stand up. Stand up. Dust yourself off, stand up and believe, and you can do it. 1% better each day. Small step mentality. If you stay small steps, small steps, it leads to a big result in your life. You just have to want it so bad. Want it so bad. When I desired to talk again, I wanted it so bad. Regardless of what the doctors told me, you're never going to talk again. I recognized that as BS. Your speech therapy said, you're going to have to settle for a new normal. Mm-mm. I want to talk again. I want to read again. I want to write again. And any goal you have in your life, any goal, you're going to have some setbacks along the way. I view that as a checkpoint for you to reevaluate your approach 
be flexible in approach, rigid in principle, and take your values forward and pursue your goals and dreams till you get what you want. So I hope this in some way has encouraged you. I believe every day, that's like the practice I did at 4 a.m. this morning. And practice for two hours straight. Every day when I practice, I get better. Every day when you fail to practice, you're firing yourself. Don't fire yourself. Stand up for yourself. Stand up and believe you can accomplish anything because you can. Because we were meant to accomplish great things with our life. We were born to soar, not sink. We were born to soar, not sink. For everybody that tuned in that I didn't get to say hello to, I'll take the time to say hi in text. Um, I always try to do it every day because I'm so blessed that you tuned in. I'm so blessed. Hey, Carton. Hey, Carolyn. I'm so blessed that I have a chance to live. Hey, Dan. Man, you are something special. All the way from Australia, boom. So, a shout out for a few people that I want to mention. First is Brooke Allen. She was on my show. And I believe Brooke is one of the most amazing people I have ever met. So, hats off to you, Brooke. You're doing great work. When you had your stroke, you didn't quit. You stood up and are making a difference to everybody. Hey, Brandy, that's funny. <laughs> and the next person I want to shout out to is Kayla Fredericks, my good friend that has been through 37 surgeries and since she had her strike, stro stroke, she is one of the most amazing people I have ever met. Strong, fierce, don't quit. That is her motto. I have Kaylee's, Kayla's comeback crew on my wrist. I wear it all the time. I'm a part of that journey with her. Gabby that was on my show was so amazing. I know you enjoyed that story because she was something else. Her laugh, Alex, on yesterday's show, what a story. Speaks four languages. Aphasia, murder apraxia. Uh, man, what a will to live. That bust the myth that you plateau. You don't plateau. You just get better when you do the work. My friend, Laura Messner, what a joy she has been by participating in the Level 10 Hope Exchange. Every Friday, she sings a song of hope and it amazes me what she went through in her life. She supports her brother with loving care, um, Richard Jr. It, it means a lot to have her in my life. Felisa Hervey, man, when I met her at speech therapy in St. Petersburg and she went on to get her doctorate. Uh, she speaks several languages. She's trying her best to learn to talk again, and it's working. It's working. I'm so proud.
proud of her. So I could go on and on. Randy, Rose Miller, uh, so many people, Bill and Pat Green that I have met at speech therapy, one of the greatest couples I ever met, both. And David Long, my good friend, Mike Burdett, my good friend, Jim Fritz Patrick, my good friend, and uh, of course, Bo, and so many others. Sky Gore, I could go on and on and on about people I have met, people I knew, and because of this, this why I do morning coffee, and because of this support is why I continue to strive to get better and better and better and better. I may stumble across a few words that I can't say clearly, but I'm going to work on it. I may stumble, mess up a verb, but I am talking. Imagine that. The doctors couldn't imagine it, but I could. I could. Close your eyes. Picture the goal in your mind's eye. Open your eyes. Look up. Have faith and do the work. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back with you tomorrow with another message on Morning Coffee with Paul. Bye. Have a nice day. Level 10. <laughs>